AFTV, I'm asking a question tonight, Arm, because it was an outstanding performance by Mesut Ozil today. I really thought you... I mean, did you think that he run the game today? I did. Um, I've been a bit of criticism... or I've criticised Ozil a lot, but I have to say that he silenced me today. He proved a lot of doubt was wrong. I mean, it is against Bournemouth, so let's not get ahead of ourselves, but I thought the way that he played from start to finish, was well, that's the Ozil. That's the Ozil I want to see, basically. Mm. When he's tracking back, obviously, obviously I know he, he's not a defensive player like that, yeah. but going forward, brilliant. In terms of the way he controls the ball, dictates his play in the middle. The one thing I have to say about his goal, though, I don't know if you lot clocked his goal, but when he, he's done it a few times where he, he comes towards the keeper and he'll kick the ball into the ground and it will just dink over the keeper. That wasn't a mistake. He does that. I've seen it a couple of times. I thought it was a joke, but actually, that shows his class. Do you know what I mean? Amongst his passes and that. But do I think he'll do well against Spurs? Would you start him against Spurs? I think because of tonight's performance, I would. Usually, generally, I wouldn't because of what the other guys have said in terms of his physicality. Mm -hmm. And I know that they're gonna, Spurs are going to play their big players, you know, Sissoko mm -hmm. and that, Dyer. They're going to get onto Ozil. They're not going to allow him the space and time that Bournemouth and Southampton mm -hmm. have done it. But I just think in terms of his, his form and his confidence, I think we should play him. And then the confidence for the whole team. Because you mm -hmm. see how Lacazette and Aubameyang thrive off of him. Another player that stood out for me was Mkhitaryan. Absolutely quality. And everyone's talking about the pass, but my thing was the way that he drove forward through the mm. midfield. Do you know what I mean? He, he drove through the midfield and then he managed to um, make that five-yard pass. So I was happy with that. Absolutely quality. What about you? Ozil at the weekend, Tottenham. Is no, it, is get, it, get, it, get it right. See, tonight, see, when he plays like that, Robbie, his name in Ozil, you know, Shozil. Because man, <laughs> man was out there showing, man, what was going on. You know what I mean? Man was running the team. I was PlayStation controller analog. You know what I mean? He had the R2 down doing bits. That was Shozil tonight. That one Ozil, Shozil. And the last couple of games... Will it be Shozil on Saturday, though? That's the big question. I would personally start him. I would personally start him, but I'll be real. Ramsey knows what Spurs away is. Ramsey knows what Spurs away is. So that's the, that's the toss-up that he got. But me, if you're asking me personally, Ozil has to start. He's played his way into it. He's got the form now. If you take, it, if you take him out of that, you, you, he's going to regress. All of a sudden, he could get a soul. You never know what will happen, but yeah. I think you've got to at least start him. You have to at least start him. If he doesn't, if you don't last the 90, you bring him off at 60, even half time. If he's not doing it, you bring him off early, whatever else. But he's definitely got to start 100%. Shows him. Does he start for you? <laughs> I guess Tottenham? No, I don't think so. Not for me. No. No. What about you? Does he start? I love that. Shows him, man. I love that. Shows him. <laughs> right. I just hope I just hope we see Shozu a little more consistently. Um, I'm this, I am a critic of him. If he could be a consistent, I wouldn't be a critic. Um, I just feel Ramsey. Well, we played Ramsey when we played Tottenham here. We didn't even use Ozil, and we f we we bought, mass smashed them. So I don't see why we can't. I would start Ramsey. I was, yeah. Ramsey or Shozu? Well, I'll go with Ramsey, but I'm not even going to lie, I've been thinking about Ozil. Today, Ozil played absolutely well. It's like he watches us on Arsenal fan TV and he actually... I'm not even lying to you, man. Because you know what, yeah? The kid actually pulled his socks up today. He ran left, right and centre, scored a beautiful goal. Because I think I think Tottenham game, I think Ramsey should start because he knows what he's doing. Even though he's a brilliant game, brilliant performance, he'd be in that change room after the game, he's buzzing, confidence is high. You then go to him and say, Yo, brilliant, you brilliant, man. Yeah, but man. bench. You know, what? you know what? I think, you know what I'll do? I'll start Ozil and then put Ramsey on second half. Okay, okay. Let me, ah, listen. You've been a, have you, I'm trying to remember if you've been a big critic. No, you ain't been a big critic. You love Ozil, innit? Does he start for you on, on Saturday after that performance today? A couple of decent performances, actually. Football's a game of momentum, so that's one reason why we play Ozil. I would normally say Ramsey, but the one difference between here and playing Wembley and not White Hart Lane is Wembley is a, is a much bigger football pitch dimension. And even if Ozil's the most piss poor game, he still has, with that amount of space on the pitch because of the size of it, mm. even if it's just that one ball in that gets us a goal, whether it's to a winner or an equaliser, or you never know what, that in itself is why you play Meza Ozil. So Ozil for you? Yeah. My man, you got the last word yeah, on this? Yes. Ozil or Ramsey? Ozil. 350k a week. Top four's on the line. Big game. He's our big player. 
he needs to start. But it hasn't always been. You know, we know all that. 350 grand a week and all that yep. hasn't always showed up for those games. Yep, but Are you confident that he will show up for that Tottenham game? He's been doing it recently. You start him. If, if he's not doing the job, you pull him off. But he's proven himself. Give him the start. Okay, so you guys hear it there. Um, seems to be overwhelming leader. Ozil should start against Tottenham Hotspur. It's going to be a different type of game. Fantastic performance by him tonight. We know that will be a different game. But if we could go to Wembley and get a win, we will be one point behind Tottenham. We'll be dragging them back into this whole top four argument. And not only that, the momentum that it will give us from now till the end of the season will be incredible. Do not underestimate it. Saturday is a mega game.